most people have about 99% oxygen, mm -hmm. don't they, normally? If you get down to 95%, then you're in trouble. Yours is at 21%. I don't know if it was 21. It was definitely well, this below 40. Well, this is the figures we've been given. Yeah. It was definitely below 40. 1.21%. I mean, crikey, you're lucky to be here. I, I, I mean, it was, it's really strange. I didn't feel that bad. Um, but the people around me were like, you know, quite concerned about your health and it's totally frustrating because in terms of the climate, it was going really well. It was moving quite quickly. I felt really good. But when I re was resting in the tent, I just sort of went into a bit of a slump. Mm. And... Ben, are you coping without Victoria by your side now? Oh, uh, do you know what? It's like there's a big empty void here. It's so sad to not have Vic. She's been such a, uh, an integral part of this whole journey and every morning since she left i've been waking up and her, her the, the um the area where her tent was is now gone and i can't i can't tell you how how sad it is but um the the, the best thing is that she's healthy she's there and i, I hope you're well Vic. oh i am Thank she's you. blooming and gleaming with her i mean how worried about her were you ben because it's a funny thing isn't it the way altitude affects people it doesn't matter how fit you are necessarily it can it can just randomly affect people in a very extreme ways, can't it? Ab absolutely, and this, I just want to make it clear to everyone, Vic was the strongest, uh, both kind of mentally, physically. She was absolutely incredible. She got um, you know, up the Kumbu Icefall all the way to Camp uh, 1 and then to Camp 2. I mean, she couldn't have been stronger. She was faster than me. The thing about altitude sickness is that it has a physiological effect. And, and, and that was, you know, I, I heard Vic kind of saying that she wasn't fully aware of just how dangerous it was um, for her. But for us around, um, it, it was pretty scary. But it, it's, not, it's not a slight on your physical abilities. I think Vic has proven that through the Olympic Games uh, yeah. on, and, and international um, performance on many occasions. But she, you know, she, she, she was absolutely amazing. Aww. It was unfortunate. Well, that um, the altitude just wasn't going to let her um, pass this time. I feel so honoured and so lucky to have had such an incredible experience and, and spending that much time in the Himalayas, it's the most phenomenal place I've ever visited. And, yeah. um, but it's dangerous. I mean, what made yeah. you do it? I mean, I'm really, I mean, I'm always up for a challenge. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I'm just the idea of doing some, a sport that's so very different, you know, I've come from really fast paced, adrenaline fueled, to something that's very slow and you have to be very methodical and patient and you're at the mercy of nature. Mm. It's so different, the challenges. I thought, well, it'd be really interesting to try it. And it was for a good cause, you know, raising money and awareness for the, the Red Cross and anything that's possible, um, a charity that supported us. So we. It was just an opportunity that was too good to miss. I feel like I've, I've had the opportunity to feel like a superhero for most of my life and then something that you can't try any harder or change your attitude or do anything to fix. It just... It's no mind you. over matter. You Nothing. can't do it, yeah. You just have to accept it and move on. And I know I wish Ben the very best of well, luck. Well, I think Ben is still listening. Ben, you're yeah. right in the thick of it still. Extraordinary what you've achieved so far. I just wanted to ask you, though, if it, it's given you any worries what Victoria's been through. You know your lovely wife, Marina, who's been on the show many times. Uh, she's very nervous about you, isn't she? I, I'm sitting here now. I'm, I'm a couple of hundred metres above base camp. I'm staring at Everest. And in just a matter of days, I may, I hope, I may be on the summit. And, of course, there's risk here. And, and of course, coming to Everest has integral dangers. But I think the whole point of Vic and my mission here was to, to remind people to, to kind of pursue your dreams, whatever, whatever the risk. I think as long as you put in the training, as long as you've got amazing Sherpas around you like we do, there will always be risk. But I, I kind of want to inspire my children. And, and I hope that, that my journey can inspire not just my children, but, but all those who are following this, because that's the whole point of, of, of our mission here. It's, we're not trying to dress it up as the first or the fastest or anything. I, I just think in this day and age, a good old-fashioned adventure of pursuing your dreams, no glass ceilings, don't let anyone hold you back. And, and that's what I kind of want to inspire my children. And, and Marina, I think, um, you know, is, is from the same page as me. Of course, it's worrying for her, but I, I'm going to look after myself. Yeah. You look like you're getting teary. Oh. I, like, I mean, yeah, I just want Ben to succeed so desperately. So I've got, like, everything crossed for him.
Oh, <laughs> oh, bless you. It's been a big experience, but, you know, Long you're running. safe. And that's obviously <laughs> yeah. got to be the key. Yeah. Uh, good luck with whatever you do Thank next. You. We'll watch with interest. Thank you you haven't got much. any other ideas up your sleeve, have you? I've got a few ideas. Uh -huh. oh, <laughs> maybe no going to the deepest one. cave. Do it the other way <laughs> yeah. or something. Thanks, Victoria. Thanks um, very much.